This is after Pimp was in jail. We picked Bun up, and I'm in this. I, I know where we're headed. We're getting ready to go to um, the Grammy party for playing skills, right? We're going to the Grammy party, and um, right now, no, for uh, Lil Wayne song, Lil Wayne song. This away, yes, yes, away. yes, yeah, yes yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. had the Grammy Grammy party here in Dallas, <clears throat> and uh, we all riding together. Now I, I just tell happened to ask Bun. I said, well, "You talk to baby in a minute." He said, "Yeah, I still talk to him." No, but he said, "Yeah, he." They ain't got the same click, you know, click of rappers no more. You and never be gone, blah, blah, blah. He said, they, he got these little young niggas with him now. One of them gonna be the biggest rapper in the world. Lil Wayne. He said, he got this dude like 13 years old, Bobo. He gonna be the biggest rapper in the world. I swear to God, Bun said that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. He called that. Another one nigga that got called, I remember uh, one time I was in, um, see, we used to hang with, Cash Money before Cash Money blew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Birdman used to call me at um, Chad House and talk to me on a regular. Yeah. I can tell you some stories about how we got, one time we uh, we had a, a layover in New Orleans and they came, picked us up from the airport and walk in the studio and first person I see, as we open the door, bam, Manny Fresh. See, mm-hmm. I know Manny. Yeah. Before he was with them. Yeah. Manny Fresh used to be in a rap group. He was a DJ too. Yeah, Gregory D and Manny Gregory Fresh. D, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why Mac yeah. was talking about yeah. it on that, on that show. Exactly. See, I've told you, see, Gregory, yeah. Mac was a little boy. Remember yeah, I told you? Was. That? Mac was a little boy, and see, our managers that were here in Dallas, they got Nemesis and Ron C. Sign. Name was um, Ernie Phillips and Kim Bahari. Run them names by Mac. Okay. He's going he gonna to lose his mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, they, once they signed Nemesis and Ron C. to Profile Records, uh, that kind of gave them some street cred, right? So they decided they got this wild hair up their ass. They said, hey, we're going to start us a, a rap label. Yeah. It was called Yo Records. Yo Records, yeah. Yo Records, and Gregory D signed to them, and uh, PKO out of uh, out of San, San Antonio. Antonio. My boy, what's up, Boys man? And gangsta. What's up, po- man? <laughs> that nigga right man. now. Man. <laughs> man. Yeah. Well, you know, Snake, right now. Snake did that first album. Oh, for real. Man, so that's why we, man, cause they, I'm, I'm tell you, let me tell you, them boys gangster right there. Them niggas came in a promo van when I was playing in Jerry Elementary School and just started throwing tapes while I'm at school. Oh, oh, them boys, hey, school. Hey, let me and, tell you and, something. And, and they, them and boys the gangster. Let, teachers let us go get the tapes and shit, so I go home and get to playing this shit. I'm like, God damn, these niggas, they from San Antonio, they man. Did, they did, the PKO. boys from Jan- they were That's underrated. Crazy. And they had uh, Cottonmouth was on that bitch. Cottonmouth um, on that album, yeah. but their first album, Kyle Mouth ended up being a member of PKO. PKO. He did. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, shout out to my man, uh, Pony J, Magic. But you, Ooh. But you were saying they started Yo Records, they yeah. signed PKO, and who? Okay. And, and Mac. And Mac. Okay. And Mac. And Mac. That's Mac what he was, from from he was talking about that, that. Yeah, he was talking yeah, about that. He had a record label. He was out there, had a record deal at like 15. How yeah, how we, we, we was looked. No, that dude was like 11, 12 years old. When I interviewed him in New Orleans the other week, and we was in. Did you ever go to her record store, a Peaches record store? I've been to Peaches, yeah. Yeah, I did the interview inside of Peaches. Oh, yeah, I've been to Peaches, yeah. Yeah, and Big she ass had store. The, where they used to do the, uh, they had a little like billboard out where they would put the names of the mm-hmm. songs and stuff on. And Mac, we met back up there. And years oh, later, you got to realize how long, too. you been to Peaches too? It's like it's, 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 it's like one. It's, it's downtown, one downtown, downtown now, downtown, but it was an yeah. old location before. The old that. location, the big big store. Yeah, that's uptown. Right? Yeah, it's a shame. Been there I ain't been there, so. but I never went to the old location. Okay. But Kale told I me to take me over there and show me where it was all at. I went somewhere down. I went yeah, somewhere yeah, after you went Katrina. to the one where I after Katrina. That's the one I just did yeah. the interviews okay. in, and and Mag was just talking about the the, the Sharani yeah. and and being there with her. You know when they're all you know coming through that that yeah, record yeah. show, all of them. Yeah. Sharani told stories about uh, Birdman and all yeah, of them. See, Bun, they, they, they didn't have nothing during the time, just in the cars coming, like when they was calling you. Well, Bun was every. If you go back and listen to all those UNLV PMW albums before yeah, he was before, on all that shit. He was on every last one of them. And see, they came and did a show here. I'm taking finish the story. They came and did a show here. See, we had this thing. We was always staying at the residence inn, and we went and picked Bun up. This is after Pimp was in jail. We pick Bun up, and I'm in this. I, I know where we're headed. We're getting ready to go to um, the Grammy party for playing skills, right? We're going to the Grammy party, and um, right I'm, no for uh, Lil Wayne song. Lil Wayne song. This away. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 they yeah, had yeah. the Grammy Grammy party here in Dallas, <clears throat> and uh, we all riding together. Now I, I just so happened to ask Bun. I said, well, "You talk to baby." In a minute, he said, yeah, I still talk to him, no, boo-boo. He said, yeah, he, 
they ain't got the same click, you know, click of rappers no more. You and LV gone, blah blah blah. He said they, he got these little young niggas with him now. One of them gonna be the biggest rapper in the world. The one. He said he got this dude like thirteen years old, Bobo. He gonna be the biggest rapper in the world. I swear to God, Bun said that. Yeah, Bun. He called it. That's when you said. That's when you talking about who called it. Yeah. He called it when he, he called was a it, kid. Bro. What dude. did you think when he told you that though? You whatever. Like, Whatever. Yeah, but I mean, but Bun, yeah. but Bun, I was I always had a keen ear. Bun, Bun bought the ESG to us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Bun yeah. always had the keen ear. I always. So. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.